fellow scientists, I'm Dr. Fizzbop, and I want you to imagine something with me today. The sky is gray, the rain is pattering outside, and suddenly your whole house shakes with the rumble of thunder. Now, picture yourself at a concert where you can feel the deep beat of a drum, or the low strum of the bass guitar. Sound is an invisible force that can have visible effects, and we're going to see those effects in today's experiment. That's right, we're going to see sound. Today at Fizzbop Labs, I'm assisted by Elsie and Waverly. Let's get started. First, the Fizzlebop supply list. Here's what we need. A wide mouth or 16 ounce 480 milliliter mason jar. We're actually using a 32 ounce mason jar and this really cool glass container. You can get creative and find the best container. The key is to have a wide mouth. We also need some plastic wrap, a large rubber band, and some sea salt crystals. We'll wait right here while you gather your supplies. Okay, now that we have gathered our supplies, let's get to the experiment. First, we'll start by stretching a piece of plastic wrap over the top of the mason jar or our container. It needs to be taut, which means tight. Next, let's secure the plastic to the jar with a large rubber band. We need to be sure that the plastic wrap is taut, which means tight, and does not sag. Fantastic! Next, we're going to sprinkle salt crystals in the middle of the plastic wrap. Excellent. Fantastic! Here's the fun part. We're going to get close to the salt crystals and speak loudly and observe what happens. Hello? Hello? Hello. What's your name? What's your name? Hello? You there? Salt? Hello? What are you doing? You're kind of moving only a little bit. Maybe even a little louder. Okay, I'll talk a little bit louder. How's this? Hi, what's your name? Um, well, salt. Okay. Did you see any salt crystals moving? A little bit. A little bit? So let's experiment with shouting and then whispering. Okay. So go ahead and shout at your salt crystals. Hello! Hey, hey crystals, you, you there! Talk! Now! What are you doing? Wait, really get closer. Get even closer and shout. Okay, like this? Yeah. Hello! What did you see? It started moving. Okay, now whisper at your salt crystals. So not as much movement. Do you think that louder versus quieter sounds have a different effect on the salt crystals? Excellent. We're going to try one more part to our experiment. I wonder what happens when we play music or sing. Let's see. And I think I have a tune that we all might like.
Yes! All right, fantastic! What did you observe? I hope you'll snap a picture or record a short video and post it online so we can see the results of your Marvel experiment. Tag us at Fizzlebop Labs and use hashtag Fizzlebop. Dr. Fizzlebop, what's happening? I'm glad you asked. While you might think it's your breath making the salt crystals jump and move, it's actually the sound vibrations. Sound travels in waves. And these waves cause the plastic wrapped surface to vibrate, which then causes the crystals to bounce or shiver. If you have a stereo or subwoofer in your house, place the jar on the floor near it, then turn on some music. What do you think we should play? Some I love it! And observe what that music does to the crystals at different volumes. Turn it up and turn it down. Sound may be an invisible force, but it is powerful and can have visible effects on its surrounding. Isn't that magnificent? It's time to collect our data. You can record it on page 52 of Faith and Science with Dr. Fizzbop or in your Fizzbop lab notebook. What happened to the salt crystals when you shouted? Hmm. What about when you whispered? Describe how different people's voices affect the crystals differently. Interesting. That's it. We hope you enjoyed seeing the effects of sound waves and that you'll share the results of your experiment with us by tagging at Fizzbop Labs and using hashtag Fizzbop. Thanks for joining us here at Fizzbop Labs. I hope you had as fantastic time as we have. Join us here each week for a new experiment and don't forget to subscribe. Stop.